What's up guys, welcome to Performance Cars. So today is the main event of the VLN Endurance Series at the Nürburgring. It is also the final one of the year of 2016 and my S2000 is parked just down there. Unfortunately, the underground car park in the hotel is full so I've been relocated to that one. And let me just show you guys. So if you look into the distance, you can see loads of people are turning up for this race. The race is due to start in about half an hour. They've already done their practice and qualifying this morning. So I better make my move into the racetrack and find a seat. The race has started and it's decided to rain pretty heavily. Even though I'm holding the umbrella, the camera's getting wet, I'm getting wet. But the amount of spray that these guys are getting, just have a look. Just imagine you guys were following the Porsche behind that. I obviously have a few, a little idea about that because I was following the lorries on the motorway, but check this out. I've already seen some cars crash out and they've been towed back to the, to the garages, so it's not very good. But hopefully I'll be able to catch up different vantage points. Just behind me there is where the Nürburgring GP layout joins onto the North Sea. So you can see them guys going pretty slowly as the tarmac changes. It's getting pretty dangerous out there. I have made my way into the main grandstand. It's opposite to the pits and Mathilda Racing is just over there in number 7 which I sat in the Astra TCR yesterday. So the rain has eased, it's pretty nice that it has stopped raining but there's a wind chill, a really cold one and my hands are frozen. So I'm going to try and head into the car and go around the main Nürburgring and go to one of their sort of tourist sites where many people go to film. So I see you guys down there. I have jumped in the S2000 making my way to a place called Brunchen and I know I'm in the right place because look at the amount of cars that have parked on the sides on the grass verges to get a good viewing point. I will join them and capture some footage. I don't know if this is a good place. I don't want to go too much down there otherwise I'll end up in the ditch and this lovely BMW is parked here as well so I think it's okay. I'm going to head on over the fence and then join them by the side of the circuit. <laughs>
has got to be one of the best spots to come to. You can tell by the amount of caravans, fans waving their flags and just people having barbecues camping overnight here. So I've never been to a Nürburgring and having sat in the Seat Leon TCR yesterday in a practice, it really does show me how mountainous this track, the North Leaf, is. But walking it is another story. If you guys ever come down to Nova Ring and decide to come to these corners, then expect some hiking shoes, which I do not have, and do be quite fit as well, because it's really up and down and it's quite slippery, quite dangerous. I'm gonna head back to the hotel now because the race has about an hour left, and then we'll see how the results are. With only 20 minutes of the race left, I am in a grand stand, just opposite the start stop finish. But I'm not too sure if I should stay here or go over to the other side onto the roof. What do you think guys? I think I might go over. 20 minutes, let's go. There is only two minutes left of the race. One minute 53 now. I've made it over here just in time for the finish. So if you guys just have a look down here, I'm a bit out of breath. But all the team, most of the teams are by the pit wall. Some of them have already left, which I noticed walking in because their cars either crashed out or there was a problem. But I'm not too sure who's going to win or who's winning what class because everything's in German. The only place I could find out was at the hotel, which yeah, we were showing the prototype French car, but apart from that, I have no idea. So we just wait around here for a bit and then we'll see who's the actual winner. And the checkered flag is out. No more minutes on the timer and people are just coming across the line taking the checkered flag. Everyone's already starting to pack up like the Haribo racing team. Oh, I love that Mercedes SOS with the Haribo. It's just, I don't know, with the kids' suites and such a serious racing machine is just pretty awesome. There we have it, the end of the race is time for champagne and celebrations for more or less everyone. A four hour race around the Nürburgring is no joke, it's some serious stuff, your concentration has to be up there all the time. I think in the end the Audi R8 won with the two BMW M6s in second and third but I'll leave the results at the end of the video for you guys. But everyone is packing up, you can see like big tents from Haribo, you've got Ferrelli, Dunlop, Michelin etc. But there are loads of racetracks here. Everyone did well. The race itself, the conditions were really tricky from the start. It started off really damp and after heavy rain, and after it went light rain and then heavy rain and then sun. So conditions were always changing. And for myself, when I went round the Nordstief, going to those iconic corners, it's a shame I couldn't go to the carousel. It was a bit further down, about a 20 minute walk, but I needed to get back here for the actual final and take the checkered flag. So it's been an amazing experience here. Big thank you to KW Suspensions again and Mathilda Racing. Those guys are awesome, really friendly. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Take care, drive safely and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, welcome to Performance Cars. So today is a pretty special day. I have the Spoon S2000 all cleaned up from the previous video, if you guys remember that. And the reason behind that is because Car Throttle is going to come and film it. 